Good evening and welcome to the Parish Church of St Leonard's in Hyde for this our annual Easter Carol service. It is a joy to welcome you all here as we continue to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ our Lord. Throughout our service we will sing hymns of praise, hear stirring and be beautiful music worshipping God the Trinity and we will hear of God's salving, saving acts throughout creation. Finally, our service will conclude with our blessing, followed swiftly by refreshments, which you are warmly invited to stay for. So we remain standing to sing our first hymn, number 110, Jesus Christ is Risen Today. for support and fellowship. We lay our hearts and lives before the God who makes us. Let us remember God's holy call that binds us in this work. God's Holy Spirit that moves as created spirit through our lives and God's holy church that broods as mother to our faith. And let us celebrate in sound and word the scope and breadth of music, God's prized gift to human ears which finds its source in songs that circle heaven's throne. We ask that God bless the lives of clergy and musicians who work together, that from their labours may be born a unity of worship that delights God as it feeds our souls. We pray that God will inspire those who bear the gift of composition, raise up new singers for sacred service, and pour grace upon those who teach and lead them. And let us pray for others, for the needs of the whole world, for peace and justice amongst all God's holy people, for the mission and unity of Christ's Church. And let us remember in Christ's name the poor and the helpless, the outcast and those who have no homes, the sick, and those we love but see no longer, those who live without the love of others, and those who do not yet know the love of God. 
and as God knows both our hearts and minds, we pray that God would provide for us all the things for which we dare to ask, and all the things that escape our daring or our knowing. Summing all these prayers, we pray the words that the risen Christ himself taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The prophet Isaiah foretells a new beginning for God's people. Thus says the Lord who makes a way in the sea, a path in the mighty waters, who brings out chariot and horse, army and warrior. They lie down, they cannot rise, they are extinguished, they are quenched like a wick. Do not remember the former things or consider the things of old. I am about to do a new thing. Now it springs forth, do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The wild animals, animals will honour me, the jackals and the ostriches, for I give water in the wilderness, rivers in the desert, to give drink to my chosen people, the people whom I formed for myself, so that they might declare my praise. We stand to sing hymn number 112, Jesus Lives, number 112. <laughs>
policy, Ezekiel looks forward to the restoration of the people of Israel. The hand of the Lord came upon me, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He led me all around them. There were very many lying in the valley, and they were very dry. He said to me, Mortal, can these bones live? I answered, O oh Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones, and say to them, O oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. I will lay sinews on you, and will cause flesh to come upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I had been commanded. And as I prophesied, suddenly there was a noise, a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to its bone. I looked, and there were sinews on them, and flesh had come upon them, and skin had covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, Prophesy to the breath, prophesy, mortal, and say to the breath, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood on their feet, a vast multitude. Then he said to me, Mortal, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They say, Our bones are dried up, and our hope is lost. We are cut off completely. Therefore prophesy, and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, I am going to open your graves, and bring you up from your graves, O my people. And I will bring you back to the land of Israel, and you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and bring you up from your graves, O my people. I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live. And I will place you on your own soil, then you shall know that I the Lord have spoken and will act.
Resurrection of Jesus. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, and Salome bought spices so they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man, dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, there is the place they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement had seized them, and they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. stand to sing hymn number 113, Love's Redeeming Work is Done, number 113. <laughs> Jesus appears to all the disciples in Jerusalem. While they were talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. He said to them, Why are you frightened and why do doubts arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet. See that it is I myself. Touch me and see. For a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you see that I have. 
And when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While in their joy they were disbelieving and still wondering, he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he took it and ate it in their presence. Then he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And see, I am sending upon you what my Father had promised. So stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. St. Paul proclaims the basic facts of the Gospel. Now I will remind you, brothers and sisters, of the good news that I proclaim to you, which you in turn received, in which you also stand, through which you also you are being saved, if you hold firmly to the message that I proclaim to you, unless you have come to believe in vain. For I handed on to you, as of first importance, what I in turn had received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the Scriptures, and that he was buried and that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the Twelve. Then he appeared to more than five hundred brothers and sisters at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have died. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one untimely born, he appeared also to me, for I am the least of the apostles, unfit to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the Church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, 
and his grace toward me has not been in vain. On the contrary, I worked harder than any of them, though it was not I, but the grace of God that is with me. Whether then it was I or they, so we proclaim, and so you have come to believe. Stand to sing hymn number 121, this joyful Easter tide, number 121.
Christians are called to a new way of living. So if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, whatever in you is earthly, fornication, impurity, passion, evil desire and greed, which is idolatry. On account of these, the wrath of God is coming on those who are disobedient. These are the ways you also once followed when you were living that life. But now you must get rid of all such things, anger, wrath, malice, slander and abusive language from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have stripped off the old self with its practices and have clothed yourself with the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge according to the image of its creator. In that renewal there is no longer Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave and free, but Christ is all and in all. Lift your hidden faces, he who wept and prayed. Leave your covered places, he who were afraid. Here's a golden story, here is silver news. Here he gives of glory for all men to choose. Alleluia, alleluia. Praise the Lord with thanksgiving, praises sing to God. Now from me and steady, now from flood and foam, feathered fern and fairy, all your creatures come. Ye shall discover that for which he reigns, winter days are over, sing and celebrate, Alleluia, Alleluia, praise the Lord with thanks here in praise. Leave your labor, sons be glad and gay. Tell our friends and neighbors of a holy day. Joyfully forgather, sorrow now is done. We have found a father, we have found a son. Alleluia, alleluia. Praise the Lord with thanks here in praise. Jesus commissions his disciples. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always, to the end of the age.
we stand to sing hymn number 117, The Day of Resurrection. During this hymn, a collection will be taken.
Son, Jesus Christ, hast overcome death and opened unto us the gate of everlasting life. We humbly beseech thee that as by thy special grace preventing us thou dost put into our minds good desires, so by thy continual help we may bring the same to good effect. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Amen. The Lord is risen from the dead, who for our sakes hung upon the tree. Hallelujah. The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.